hi guys so like i said in the previous video i'm going to show you all on how to make a google form and how to link it to your spreadsheet so here we have to first log into our google account so i have logged into my account here you have google apps where you can easily access your google sheets and google forms here you have the sheets and here you have the forms so now let's go and make our google form Type as Google Forms and it will take you to a website. Click it. So, so now here we can make Google Documents, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Forms, everything Google. So go to Google Forms, click it. And it will take you to a dashboard. So you have to log into your account. And your accounts forms will be shown here so here is my google form which i'm already using let's make a new one so go to blank and click it so here's your google form this is new you can customize it to your own color you can add a logo you can change the font style so let's change the title i'm going to change the title as order request you can also change the form description it's optional but I'm going to put as a uh, fill in please fill in your details so here's the first question you get you can add any number of questions you like so I'm going to edit this question as full name so this is going to be the first question which my customer is going to fill now there's an option called multiple choice here you can select anything you like let's select paragraph because full name is going to be a long answer so you have to select paragraph make it required because it's a compulsory question Here's a plus sign. You can add another question. Let's add another question. So now let's uh, put it as address. Now make the question a paragraph because it's going to be a long answer too. And make it required. Let's add another question and let's make it the mobile number so mobile number is a short answer so let's make it a short answer but make sure you cannot uh, allow the customer to add two phone numbers because it's a short answer if you want to make it a long one make it paragraph but i'm here going to make it a short answer make it as required let's add the fourth question and let's put it as product type So here you have to give the customer the option of selecting one or more products. So I'm going to select check boxes from the options. So then the customer can select one product or more products at one time. So I'm going to add the products as Woods Lab Painting. So this is an example, resin bookmarks. and bottle charms make the question a required question and let's add another optional question so next is customization details so this question is optional you can either make it required or just leave it select as paragraph so the questions here depends with the business you do for an example if you're doing a clothing business you will have to add another set of questions like sizes uh, measurements etc so here our google form is ready and it's done now it's time to customize our google form you can see an icon called customize theme you can choose any image you like as the header and at 
you can change the theme color background color and font style so I'm going to upload an image as the header I'm going to use my own logo as the header you can either select a cover photo okay so here's my logo click done and the system will automatically matches the colors for your theme comparing your logo so here there's a pink shades for me I'm going to select dark pink as my theme color so the bar is changed into pink color and next change the background color I'm going to select dark pink and you can also change the font style I am going to select the font playful so we have customized our Google form so this is how it's going to be shown to our customers when they're filling out the form so now let's link our Google spreadsheet to our Google form so there's a thing called responses here click it now there's an icon called create spreadsheet you have to click it so now you can see two options as create a new spreadsheet and select existing spreadsheet so select create a new spreadsheet because it's going to be easy for you this system will automatically link a spreadsheet for your Google form so let's change the name here I'm going to put as trinklets orders trinklets orders too because I already have one form let's create now you will be directed into your new Google spreadsheet now it's already created it's really easy your Google form and your Google spreadsheet is linked together let's go to the Google form so now let's see how we can send the link to our customers so here press send here you can see the options of send via email send via link click link here you can see the link for your google form shorten the url now copy the url now you can send this copied link to your customers really easily I'm going to give you all a small tip. You can save this link in your saved replies in your Instagram DM settings. So you can easily send this link to your customers whenever you want. So what I do is I send this link to all my customers when they do the payment and confirm the order. So it's easy for me and the customer as well. So now our Google form and our Google spreadsheet is linked together. Let's try it out. So here we have a preview button click it so you can preview how your google form will look like to your customers this is how it's going to be look like so let's do a trial i'm going to type my name here and let's type a random address a mobile number make sure it's a short answer you can't add two mobile numbers together because you gave the option as small answer I'm going to select two products WhatsApp painting and resin bookmarks and here you can fill out the customization details this is not compulsory so it's optional I'm going to submit and this is what's going to be uh, shown to your customers when they fill out the form let's go to our Google spreadsheet and see Tada! So this is our first trial uh, and it's working and we know that our Google form is linked and it's properly working now. So this is how it's going to be shown in your Google form, uh, sorry, Google spreadsheets once the customers fill out the details. Let's go back to our Google form. Here you can see the responses filled out by the customers. So this is the details we filled out in the form. 
so we have finished making our google form and we have linked it to our google spreadsheets it's really that easy and it took only like less than 15 minutes for us now let's close the tab and see how we can quickly access to our google forms and google sheets so like i said before here we can uh, quickly access our google sheets so here you can see the spreadsheet we made and this is the one I'm already using. So all the responses filled uh, by your customers are going to be shown here. So now if you want to edit your Google form, you can quickly access from here. So this is the one we made now and this is my previous one which I'm already using. I hope this video helped you guys in some way and do let me know if there's any questions regarding google forms and spreadsheets in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video and i'll bring you guys a lot more videos in the future